Hi everyone, so I'm doing um, a short tutorial on the Bond Lux sewing machine LED lighting kit. Now I sized it out already and just make sure that you size it out from this way so because this needs to be attached uh, near the sewing machine. This is what is going to get plugged into another wire which is going to plug into the base which plugs into an outlet so I'll show you all that but make sure you do uh, measure from this side and not the other side so I've decided that I am going to be going behind the needle here um, around sorry around uh, this part here and I'm actually going to bring this through the back so I've decided it decided to do it this way. I did turn on my machine to make sure it's not interfering with anything. And um, so I'm going to start from here. And I have already sized it, so I'm going to cut it now. But um, so if you make a mistake and you cut uh, the wrong size by accident, it's okay because you are cutting at this line right here. So if you can see this copper line that's where you're cutting and I also made a mistake and I made a little nick in it and then I was like oh shoot I remembered so um, yeah that's fine if you just uh, if you nick it or if you cut it halfway and then realize I did it you measured from the wrong side and you go so it doesn't affect your lights all your lights do still work um, okay so I'm just gonna quickly put this on here and I'll be right back all right, so I'm back. Um, you see here, I have attached it, and it looks very pretty. It'll look even prettier um, once the lights are on. Either way, make sure you push it on really tight and go slowly. Take your time. Don't rush this. Um, especially if you're a perfection, please don't rush it because the adhesive is pretty sticky. You can fix it, but it's pretty sticky. So take your time. I've come all the way to the end here. I've left probably, yeah, I actually haven't left much space, but yeah, I've come all the way to the end here. And there you go. So I'm going to lift this baby up for a second. And so now you see the wire, it comes out right at the back here. All right, so I'm going to just bring it up here. I am going to attach the wire to it. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to attach this wire. And this is the on and off button wire. Right. Now I'm going to plug in the adapter into the outlet and attach that wire, which looks like that, inside of this. So I'm just going to come through here for a second so I can show you. And it's a touch switch, so it works really easily. You literally just have to touch it. And wow, it's almost blinding. <laughs> And if you want to dim your light here, because it's very bright, so if you want to dim it, you simply hold down this button. So hold it down, hold it down, and you see it's dimming down. There you go. If you hold it down even more, it'll come back, and then you keep holding it down, and it'll dim again. And if you want it off, you just tap it, and it'll turn off. Turn on, tap it, hold it down, long hold down to dim, and tap to turn off. Alright, so it's very simple. That is uh, very easy to do. So I figured out what this thing was for. This uh, adhesive strip is to, oops, sorry, um, is to put at the back of this light switch if you want to, sorry, I'm just going to unhook this for a second, so... It's not blinding. Yes, yeah, so this adhesive strip, you put uh, you put 
this at the back of this and you can you know attach it here so it's easy you don't have to you know always look for your button to see where it is um, yeah and you can read the review for more information have a good day